Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we use Melodyne to find out our tempo. If you have Studio One 5 Pro or are a PreSonus Sphere member, you already have Studio One 5 Pro. And with your professional license of Studio One, you get Melodyne Essentials included. Melodyne is a world-class pitch correction tool, but it can also detect the tempo of files that maybe you don't know what the tempo is and you either want to practice the song or you need to set up the effects in your session so that you can lock the effects to the tempo of the song you're working on. Let's dive into the DAW and detect our tempo. So here we are inside of our session and I've made it kind of a default setting. The tempo is at 120 beats per minute and I just have this two track file that I'm working with on a mix. I know that this song isn't at 120 beats per minute. If I turn the click track on, the song is much faster than what we have going on with our click track at 120. Now, there are a few ways to do it. What you can do is hit play on your song and actually click on tempo down here. This is one way that you can click in a tempo. And this is actually really good if you're getting ready to record with some clients. If they're just playing the song and you wanna lock it in when you start recording, you can just do that and kind of fine tune from there. But there's another tool out there that we can use if you're only in the mix phase and you didn't get the tempo of the song from the client. And that's using Melodyne. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So I've selected the event of my beat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut of Command and M on a Mac or Control and M on a PC to engage Melodyne. And it's gonna start its detection process. Here it goes. So there we go. We ran Melodyne on just our beats. And yes, I am using Melodyne Assistant. And with your version of Studio One 5 Pro, you may only have Melodyne Essentials, but you can still do this. Because where we're looking is on the top left. This is the tempo section right here. The number outside of the brackets is the session tempo. So this is what we have down here, 120 beats per minute. Then the number inside the parenthesis is the detected tempo of the song. And I actually knew that 165 were the beats per minute for this song in particular. So I know this to be accurate. With this information, there's a few things we can do. You can change your tempo down in Studio One to 165 or whatever your session might need to be. But maybe you want to cut something up and make some samples out of it or do some other time stretch functions. With this drop down menu here, you get the tempo menu and you have a bunch of different options. So let's go ahead and confirm 160 to 168 as the file tempo. So what this has done, even though it hasn't really looked like it changed anything, is it confirms the tempo to the file. And we can see this in the inspector underneath file tempo. It now says map, meaning that it's taken the tempo map from Melodyne and put it to this file itself. So now if we go up in our inspector and change our time stretch, it has now taken the song, which is at 165, and it's now turned time stretch on to match the tempo of the song, making the beat longer because it's a slower tempo. We can do the same thing in, an, in the opposite direction. If we change this to 180, it will now shrink our beat as well, and it will match 180 beats per minute, even though we know the song is 165. I'm just gonna undo a couple times. And now let's look at some more things we can do in the tempo menu. Up next is the multiply tempo by, and there's a lot of different options in here where you can adjust the speed of your song. And this really is something that you need to play with yourself to figure out what it's going to do for your song, or if you even need to use it at all. Most likely though, you probably don't. Then we have copy song tempo to file. Now what it's done is it's taken the session tempo of 100 and 20 beats per minute and put this to the file itself. Melodyne has told Studio One that this beat should be known as 120 beats per minute, 
even though that's not accurate. Well, at least it's not accurate in this case. And last but not least is apply constant tempo, where we can go in and actually say, yes, this is 165 beats per minute, and it now will put the file tempo as that. Okay, so you've detected your tempo and you've gone ahead and commit that tempo to the file itself. Cool. But it does get cooler because now we can use that to actually create our tempo map. If we open up the tempo map up here, I can now just click and drag this file into the tempo here and it puts it in. And now Studio One has our tempo set. Our beat itself is set not to follow because we don't need it to stretch anything, but we just want to lock our tempo that we've detected from our song to our session. And we can go on to do whatever we need to, cut our samples, mix the song, set up our effects. All of the things that are tempo dependent now have a map to work from. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timplansbaum.com and if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.